Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here and today I would like to show you how I created these cute pinwheels using the Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series Paper by Stampin' Up. It's one of the free items you can win during celebration Okay, and you can win this whole pack of paper 12 sheets, double sided when you spend $50 or more at my store. Okay, I got a blow on it. Get the real effect. Okay, so what I've done is I've already cut the papers five by five. Okay, I've already I figured that that's a good size. I mean, I've I've tried different size pinwheels, and I'll talk about the different sizes it makes. Okay, so the first step is you would cut the paper into squares, five by five. This is the We Are Memories Keepers pinwheel punch board, and as you can see, you can make pinwheels as small as three inches. I don't recommend it. Four inches works good. Four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, they get kind of wobbly, but I think four, five, and six are perfect sizes for pinwheels. And you always start with a square. This pinwheel punch board goes from three inch squares. It, it handles 10 inch squares, up to 10 inch squares. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you how to make these start to finish. The first step is I punched the corners. I'm just gonna show you what that looks like and then I'm gonna do it of the papers. Okay, and then the next thing I did was create the curvy lines that I need. And then the last thing I did was uh, the pinwheel attachments. And I'll show you how to use these. And I added the straw. Okay, so let's get started. Now, if you have your paper, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna make double-sided two, you need two pieces of paper for each pinwheel. So don't punch them all th with the same side up, okay? Like punch, punch one with one side of the, like this is, this is a double-sided pattern, okay? If you were to make a pinwheel out of these two pieces, punch the holes with one side facing up and this side facing up. You'll see why in a minute, but I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the papers, flip the papers, and then I'll, you know, punch my holes. Okay, let's get some really cute ones. I, I really like, I like the bottles and I like the fizz the most. Actually, these two I like the most. So let's get started. We're gonna go, I'm gonna open up the, the pinwheel punch board. We don't need that part right now. All I'm gonna do is punch holes in the corners. Make sure you're standing up. This is a really hard punch. If you have arthritis or something, you're gonna have trouble with this punch. I mean, you can get replacement blades for it, but boy, is that, it really takes a lot of weight. You gotta push down on it. So there's, there's one sheet and here's another sheet. So I've punched my holes. Now, I'm gonna flip this back over. And you're going to take, since I already told you we're using five by five, let's put this piece of paper in the front. I told you that, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my five right on the pattern. See, it says five by five. I'm gonna punch down. What that did is it just put a perfect hole in the center for me. I'm taking out this blade here. This is, this is the one I mean that you can replace, that you can get a replacement blade for this. I'll have links to the materials on my blog and thepaperchef.com and I'll also have links to the materials in the description. Okay, what I did is I just put my blade into this groove and I'm, I cut straight down. I'm gonna do it four times so you'll get a chance to see it. Each time I'm lining up with that pattern, there's a little groove there and I'm lining up because it's five by five. Now this is keeping my pinwheel in the center and I want that little line, I want to cut right along, there's a groove in here. That's what I want my blade to cut, cut across. Okay, and one more time. Okay, you do that. So now, that was, the front, that was the front of the pinwheel. I always keep a little pair of scissors handy because I'm a perfectionist and I like to say, oh, that, you know, if there's any little pieces that have that we're not cut exactly on a curve, I might snip those off, but that's that's me. You don't have to do that. I mean, I sell these to little kids, like they really don't care, but I care. Okay, <clears throat> I'm opening up to get rid of the trash. So that's the front. Now, you take, your, you take a piece of paper, also five by five, that you cut the same way. Be sure that you're still, your paper is still, you know, facing up from when you punch the holes in it. But this time, I'm gonna line up again with the five by five, but I'm doing it with this side of the punch board because this is my back, piece of paper. 
Okay, so again, we're punching a hole. Now, again, take your blade, but this time you want this groove. You're gonna put your blade inside that groove. Okay, and then you twist and do this four times. And I'd like to bring this to uh, craft classes because kids can actually make these pinwheels. I've had kids as young as kindergarten and first grade trying this, but you have to hold their hands and help them help them guide it along or turn the paper for them. But they can actually push and then they feel like, hey, I'm making my own pinwheel and it's exciting for them. Okay, so that's the back. And if you notice the back, this was the front and it had like bigger curves and the back doesn't has like straighter lines. Okay. Okay, I shouldn't need to do this, but you know, I sometimes don't, but I'm at sort of a weird angle today doing this. I don't have my normal assembly line process going. All right, and again, just dumping out my trash. So there we are. So now we have the upper piece and the bottom piece. So you put them together on top of each other. You see all the holes line up. And there's my hole in the middle and all my holes line up. You're gonna take, this is, I have a pinwheel punch board kit, okay? I get that, it's also made by We Are Memory Keepers. Okay, I'm using the lime green because it matches so well. The lime green straws. Everything is the same in the kit except the straw color. Okay, let me show you the bottom. This, see, you get a kit, 10, 10 sets of pinwheels you can make with it. You can make 10 sets. So these little plastic adapters are the same, but the straw color is different. Okay, so that's where I got this, these adapters. I'm taking this one, the long straight one, and I'm just shoving it through, up through the back, like this. I have to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, get it up in there, and it's, you know, pointing up through the front. Now, I take four times, I'm gonna flip this paper around it like this. Okay, I'm just, pu I'm just putting it on this piece. Now there are instructions on the back of the straw packet, but you know, I just feel like I, I'm self-taught. I've just figured it out and it wasn't hard to figure out. Now you have to take one of these little pieces and you have to put it on the top. But it's not really going to stay on the top, so you're wondering, well, that's not good. So you just you just kind of shove it there, but it doesn't really stay. I need to get out of the camera for a second. Until you put this next piece. Yeah. Actually, I actually don't like the top pieces very well. Because they don't, they don't fit on there very well, and you're wondering why. And it's because you need... There we go. I just put that on there temporarily. But it's not really going to stay... And my paper's starting to get there. Okay, so then I'm taking this piece and flip around. I'm pushing this piece in, and then you're gonna hear a snapping sound. So I will shut up. Okay. Hear that? Okay, that you need. You need the snapping sound. That means you can't get this off now. You can't get that piece off. That this piece just snapped to that piece is what happened. Okay? And that's what you want then you can't get the pinwheel part, which is great. So now you take your, all your pieces and you go like this. You push, you push them up to the top. And then you, then you take your fingers and you just twist so now you have like a fan, okay? Awesome. These are great for spring and summer and I'll be having these, you know, for the craft fairs I go to, barbecues, things like that. I'm gonna take out a straw. These are great. These are 15 inch straws. Very strong. Very strong straws. Okay. Pushing it in there. And voila. I have a Bubbles and Fizz designer pinwheel. Okay. And by the way, I made, made these for someone's wedding. They had like a circus themed wedding. And that's on my blog. I think I meant to make like 50 of them for someone. They put them in the, they put these as like party favors in the popcorn bowls. All right, so let's just, I'm gonna just, uh, just do the last part one more time for you, okay? Using, I'll just use these two papers, the bottles and then the other bottles. Okay, I've already done, so what I mean is I'm gonna do the last part is, I've already punched the holes, okay? And I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna flip these around. I have to line up the holes to this part, okay? Going five inches, punch the holes. I'm just gonna cut the lines for you again, just to show you how really quick it is 
when I'm not teaching it and when I'm just doing it. I mean, you can make these while you're watching TV. Like right now, we're watching the Olympics. As long as I don't have to take my eyes off the skaters. For the other events, I can make pinwheels. Okay, there's one side. I'm going to do the other side. Now, I had to flip the paper around because that's how I punched it. So we're looking for the five. There's the five inch mark. Okay. We're lining that up. Okay. And now we're just, now at this point, we're just, sometimes the pattern doesn't line up exactly anymore, as you can see, but it, the groove does. This line does. The blade does. And you'll get used to that. The first couple times you might cut it a little crooked, but it'll still spin, and that's okay. Okay, we have our two papers. We have to remember to keep them facing up, as I said. I also take my scissors and I sort of like trim off any little stray bits. That one is okay. Okay, good. Remembering that the bottom one is the straighter one in case you're wondering, oh, I can't remember how they went. Okay, so there we go. Bottom top. Take the little piece up through the back. Twisting. Okay. Lining up the holes four times. Okay. And this designer series paper is pretty strong. And you, oh, you, I recommend it for pinwheels. I also think that it's great because it's double-sided. And I also always use double-sided paper to make my pinwheels. I'm dumping out some more of my attachments because I think the fronts of these will attach a little better. Okay, I'm attaching the front. It's very hard to attach. And you're wondering why it's not going to stay. That's because you have to put this piece through the back. And we push it up. Holding my finger like this. Hear that snap. Excellent. Push all the papers to the front. Give it a twist to fan out your pinwheel. Grab that straw. Put the straw in the bottom. Okay. And give it a blow. Okay, so there's my examples. Uh, these are great colors. And I hope you enjoyed this project on how to make pinwheels with the Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series paper. So go ahead and um, check out the links to my materials I used. Check out my blog. And I'll have a link to my related post about how I made these for the wedding party favors. And hope to see you in the next video. Bye.